Welcome beautiful Paris Saint-Germain family. PSG signed Manuel Ugarte for 60 million euros from Sporting Lisbon this summer and so far he has been exceptional. We talked last season about how great Vitinha was in the beginning of the season but what Ugarte and how Ugarte is playing in his first three competitive games for Paris Saint-Germain is absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. He made the jump from Sporting Lisbon and Liga Noche to Paris Saint-Germain and Liga N like it's nothing. Like a hot knife through butter. This is his stats after the three games. He has 11, 11.3 recoveries as an average in these three games. And he's 22. He's not in his prime, he's not even close to being in his prime. He's way ahead, but he's still playing as the best ball winning player I've ever seen. Sure, this is a reactionary take, it's only been three games, but if he somehow keeps up this, he'll be breaking records, not just in France, but the entirety of Europe, because his 11.3 average recoveries per game is the highest in Europe's top 5 leagues, which is absolutely insane. He came to a new team, and that new team has a new manager, and pretty much then half, more than half of the team are new players, and he's putting up these numbers. So imagine when he's more adapted, when he's more capable, when he has more chemistry with his teammates, it's gonna be absolutely insane. And one thing I want to mention about Ugarte is, sure, he has individual performances, but also the impact that he has had on Paris Saint-Germain is also insane because in these past three games, we've only conceded one big chance. Only one big chance has been created by our opposition against us, which was the penalty that was given away by Ashraf Hakimi versus Toulouse. But apart from that, no team has been able to create a big chance against Paris Saint-Germain, which shows how great defensively it will become. Obviously, there are many reasons for that. The position by Luis Enrique, more players pressing and so on. But Manuel Ugarte is one big reason. Lost game versus Clermont, which we lost 3-2. We conceded five big chances. Going from five big chances in our last game to only one big chance in our last three games, which was a penalty, as I said, is crazy. It's insane. And as I said, it's not totally on Ugarte, but Ugarte is a big role for that. And you know what? I wanted to compare his recoveries, his average recoveries against the best. So I took Marco Verratti and Idrissa Ganagay from Paris Saint-Germain and looked at all of their careers, all of their seasons, and this is their best three-game average. So obviously Ugarte so far started his PSG stint with 15 recoveries, 10 recoveries, and 9 recoveries. The three best recovery stats Idrissa Ganagay has had at Paris Saint-Germain is 15, 14, and 12 in three separate games, which... is. It just shows you how good Manu Lugarte is. We can take a look at Marco Verratti. Obviously, he's a different kind of player, but his best is he has had 11 recoveries in 3-4 games. And then let's look at probably the best ball-winning DM this generation. Obviously, Busquets is a better DM than uh, Casemiro, but Casemiro is a much better ball-winning DM. And he's had three separate games with 16 recoveries. Each. Obviously, Ugarte has had a game with seven recoveries in Liga Noche, but still, his league and first three games are comparable to the best DM of this generation. That is absolutely insane. And I took a look at their averages. So, Ugarte last season averaged 9.3 recoveries per game, which is the second highest out of these players, apart from Idrissa Ganagé, when he was 27 years old in his prime playing for Everton, where he had 9.37 average recoveries. Casemiro's best is 8.57 average recoveries per game and Marco Verratti is 7.45. But Marugate, as I said before, this season has 11.3 average recoveries. So if he just keeps on to that or keeps it above 10, it will be the most recoveries per game a player has had in the past 5-7 seasons. Because that's when this stat was started to get counted, at least on the website I use. And the thing about Manuel Ugarte, he's a specialist. He's a specialist. He's an elitist. He does one thing or two things only, but he does it so good that he doesn't need to do anything else. And that suits Paris Saint-Germain perfectly. Because if you look at this stat here, you can see Manuel Ugarte when it comes to duels, defensive actions, he's the best in the world. 
forward passes. He's good at it, but definitely needs to improve. And we've seen so many long balls from him in these first games at Paris Saint-Germain. And the tackles he's making and everything. Listen, stats can back up a lot of stuff. But listen, when I watch the games, he's even better than what the stats say. And why ask me for my opinion when we can ask Paris Saint-Germain's manager Luis Enrique for his opinion on Manuel Rugarte in these first two games. In the first game, this is what he had to say. Manuel Rugarte was superb. I loved the way he played with and without the ball. I liked his positioning. He recovered the ball many times with the high pressure. He passed the ball well. He was brilliant in our physical duels. I would give him a 10 out of 10. And the second game he had to say this, I think the fans enjoyed him, he's a player who recovered the ball, he made a lot of recoveries in the opposition half, but also when we were defending, he's very important for the team. Big praise from Luis Enrique who has previously managed players like Pedri, Messi, Neymar, Suarez, Iniesta, Busquets, Xavi. He's managed all of these players and he still has this much praise for Manuel Ugarte who just tells you how special he is. I'm, I'm so excited to see him for the rest of the season. I've never been excited to watch a DM, a number six, play a game as I have been with Manuel Ugarte. And yeah, in my opinion, he has been the best signing this summer. When you look at money, only 60 million, which is by, by the way, paid in four installments in four years for Sporting Lisbon is better than any deal out there. Better than Bellingham for 100 plus. Better than Declan Rice for 120 plus. It's absolutely insane. What a steal we got. But I couldn't be more grateful. Thank you, Luis Campos, for making my dream a reality. That's been it. Let me know in the comments down below. How are you guys feeling about Manuel Lugas' first three games? And do you think he can keep it up with 11.3 recoveries per game? That's been it for me, boy. Subscribe if you haven't, like the video if you enjoyed it, and as usual, allez allez, allez Paris!